Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Z. Welcome to another edition of Retro Traveling with Mrs. Z. I am going to show you today how I henna my hair to get an authentic vintage redhead look. Now, a secret, I am a natural redhead. I've been one my whole life. It's pretty much my signature color now. I've never changed it. I've never frosted it. I've never done anything with it. But I like to keep my auburn locks looking really good. And as I get older, my hair starts to fade as a natural redhead. So I use henna, which is what they used back in the 1940s and 50s to make that vibrant red hair. Watch how I get my hair to go from dull to bright in just a few simple steps. So when you have red hair, it doesn't necessarily gray, it fades. So it gets this real light orange if it's auburn like my hair is originally. So I need to use henna in order to brighten it. I don't use dyes because I don't like what they do with your hair. They kind of dry mine out because it's coarse to begin with. So I use henna and I use a product called Just For Redheads and it does a great job in keeping my hair to its natural color and it provides the natural gold highlights that were in my hair originally. So if you're a redhead and you like the auburn or red style, or if you do vintage and you like that Lucy look, henna is the, definitely the way to go. I would never use anything else. To henna your hair, you'll need a plastic bowl, henna powder, and olive oil. You're also going to need to boil about two cups of water. Add the water to the henna powder and mix vigorously. You'll also need a henna brush that you can purchase on the internet. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna try to do my hair. What, hey. Are you gonna move? Sadie, Sadie, you no? Now, I have to let you know, this definitely smells like green tea all over your hair, and it is a green kind of goopy liquid that I promise it doesn't turn your hair green. It makes it either an auburn or a vibrant red, so how do you feel? Okay, so as you can see, I wash my hair as normal. I use my shampoos, my conditioners, and uh, anything else that you would use normally for your hair, and I just wash it out thoroughly. It does not make a mess in your bath or shower. It's easy to comb through. And as you can see, it does a fantastic job, and it makes my hair, it returns my hair to the, the deep, auburn that I really love and have loved. My red hair has been kind of signature uh, from the time I was a child. I've never altered the color of my hair. I've never dyed it. I've never streaked it. Never did anything crazy with it. So it's just always been this color. So I like it and it works well for vintage as well. So, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my wet set on my hair like I normally would. 
I will sit under a conventional dryer with um, the regular wet set blowers. Um, I will apply just the different products that I do, uh, including the setting lotions and stuff like that, and we'll see the final result. Sadie. So those of you that are professional hairstylists out there, do not criticize me. I am not a professional. So <laughs> I'm doing the best that I can. So I, um, it's usually more of a mess than I want it to be when I, I try to get the curls in here, but um, it always turns out spectacular. So. I'm okay with that. So um, my mother clearly got the beautician skills in the family, not me, but it's all good. It works out. My hair perfectly dyed with henna. Again, I use a product called Just for Redheads. It's available on the internet. I love it. It is my go-to henna. And I use a combination of auburn and red to get the color that you see here. This is as close as I can get to my natural color and it's pretty much spot on. It gives me the nice gold highlights. It's soft and luxurious and it lasts for about eight or nine weeks before I have to redo it. So it's wonderful. I never have to do the roots I, or the ends of my hair. I just have to do the roots and a little bit down. I streak it through the hair. Perfect. So give yourself a chance with henna and you just might like it. So thank you for watching this episode of Retro Traveling with Mrs. Z on Mrs. Z. Please join me uh, by liking me on Facebook or you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I have followers from all over the world and I'm so grateful for all of you uh, for taking time to check out my website. Uh, the Retro Traveling with Mrs. Z website is www.retrotravelingwithmrsz.com. So get on there. Uh, we have lots of recipes. I have lots of tips on cooking and home care and fashion and of course makeup and hair. So thank you for joining me and until we meet again, stay vintage.